Savvy by my channel. It's Melissa Dell and I'm here with my assistant Ryan. I wanted to share with you some items that I have been digging lately. Um, I used to do this feature on my blog called Things That I Dig and I wanted to kind of bring it more to YouTube so that way I could share with you my thoughts in person without using so many words on a screen. So let's get started. Uh, a couple weeks ago I was at Target and I wanted to purchase something that I've seen other YouTubers discuss. It is the Micellar Cleansing Water. This one is by the brand Simple. Um, I went in to go purchase the one by Garnier, but they do not carry that at Target, or I should say not yet. I bought it right um, around the beginning of the new year. So I purchased this one, it's almost gone. Um, I use it to remove my eye makeup in the mornings because I still am not in a good habit of washing my face at night. I know, I know. Um, but it does a really good job. Right now I'm using a different mascara that's actually waterproof and it does a very good job of getting it off. I don't feel the same kind of eye irritation that I was using with my more of like, it was um, like a creamy eye makeup remover. Um, I'm really enjoying this and especially right now in the winter months, after I wash my face but before I put on my um, sunscreen, moisturizer I do um, a little pad full of this and just kind of wipe it on my face and I feel like it gives it a little bit more hydration um, before I actually apply my foundation and everything else the next thing that I want to share is my dry shampoo I have tried so many different ones and I bought Batiste before and I didn't really like it um, but I decided to give it a shot again this one was I think this scent was actually recommended by uh, Megan of Long Story Short with Megan and Wendy, and it's the Cool and Crisp Fresh Scent. I am liking this one more. I'm still getting better about using it. Um, I, today's second day hair, and so um, I put it on this morning, and I feel like it does a good job. I mean, it doesn't look oily, does it? <laughs> it looks good. You, if I hadn't told you, would you know that I didn't wash my hair today? Um, I'm trying to get more into washing every two every two days instead of every other day but it's not really working out for me but I do enjoy this the scent is really clean and I think that's why I like it the most there was one I bought before that had too fruity of a scent and that's not what my shampoo actually smells like so I felt like it was kind of fake so this one I like a lot better and speaking of shampoo I was sent um, this next product by the PR firm I mentioned it a couple of weeks ago in a video um, it took me a while to actually get the video up online so I've been using it for at least three weeks and I wanted to share with you my thoughts so and this is by pure Dior this is their shampoo and their conditioner um, now the one thing that I will tell you that was a user not user error it was a user difference for me I'm used to shampoo that lathers up I like to know that it's in there well and it's spread out everywhere and cleaning my hair this does not really size up so I was having difficulty in the beginning because I do not use a lot of shampoo and when I put it on it felt like I didn't get all my hair clean so I went from using one pump to using three pumps and I'm noticing it a, a bit of a difference now where I actually my hair is being it's not sudsing sudsing yet but it at least is feeling clean um, the conditioner I love I love how it smells and I love how my hair feels afterwards I noticed that my hair is more shiny um, on day two and day one because before it just my it I wasn't using an expensive shampoo to begin with, but I just felt it was a little dull. I noticed a difference after using this one. Um, I do wash my hair every other day with that. Um, it does add a bit of, I don't know if it's a texture thing or whatnot, but when I brush my hands through my hair, it feels different, but not like it's coated with something. I don't really know what the right word is for it, but I noticed the difference. Um, I, they did also send me in the package argan oil to put on my hair, but I noticed if I used that, it was a little too much oil for my hair, and it was a little more greasy than I would like. So I haven't been using that, but I do like these two products. Um, I will link to the other YouTube video that I did on it, First Impressions. But I just, I really like the smell, and I like the sheen that it's giving my hair. Uh, and I feel like it's giving it, it's not body, but I don't know. I like it, it looks good. Um, the next thing that I want to share is something that I've been taking some me time with. John's noticed that I'm having a bit of creative troubles lately where I'm taking on projects or hobbies that um, are just kind of tapping into my creative side. Right now I'm in the middle of doing my bling mixer. If you search hashtag bling mixer on Instagram, you'll see under my other profile, um, bling diva designs, what I'm doing. But anyways, 
I like to do be creative. It's always kind of been in my blood. So lately I have been taking a course on hand lettering. It's being taught by Creative Lee, which is C-R-E-A-T-I-V-L-E-I. -E -E um, that's her name on most social networks. And she's been doing a 30-day le hand lettering class, um, coined Love Your Letter, Love Your Writing, Lettering. Anyways, it's it's just developing your own your own style as opposed to directly copying hers. <coughs> so I have been working, I think we're on day life. Well, it's the middle of March, so it's you know halfway through, and I wanted to share with you my piece that I have done. So let me zoom in here. So this is my artwork that I did. I also watercolored the page, um, but it took me a while to actually like figure out how I wanted to do this and have it a mixture of um, cursive and print, and I really like it. This is also tied into um, a post that I have coming up soon but just taking time out for you. But I really like this and I'm really proud of myself that I actually put something up on here. I started using pencil up at the top, but then I realized it wasn't erasing well. So I just kind of had to um, trust that I would do a good job. So this is done actually from here down. There's no tracing there. This is just what it is. Um, I pulled this quote from, uh, this is a Bible quote um, from Matthew 19:26 and I really enjoy it, so this is going up over by my desk. And I made a masculine version of the watercolor, but I don't know what I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna write on that one yet. Okay, the last thing I wanna share with you, and I have a disclaimer, I do sell this stuff, but I have been using it for like five years before I ever sold it. It's Scentsy, this is Home Fragrances. Um, they are wax pieces that you put inside of a warmer. It melts at a specific temperature. You might have seen things at Walmart and Costco and Sam's Club that are similar. Um, I've used other ones. These ones last longer and um, the people that I sell to, they have tried the other ones as well. And just say the scents aren't exactly the same. But anyways, I'm loving the new spring one and right now this one I have is called Clothesline and it smells kind of like a laundry detergent but in a good way <laughs> not like oh kind of too strong but perfumey um but it's in right now and it smells really good in my house and i have another favorite it's called amazon rain and i know you can't smell it but i bet you could scratch and sniff anyways um this kind of reminds me of a fresh rainstorm there's another one called thunderstorm which does not smell the same and i like this one better i can't wait to warm it up um, in our house and the last one I have is a surprise one because when I heard the name, I thought it was going to smell like a fruit and it does not. This is called Brazilian Grapes and when I first heard it, I thought it was going to smell grapey and I don't really like grapes that much. But this actually smells more of like a winery is what I think is the best part where it's got a little bit of like a oaky smell and a fruity bit a little bit and some like greenery so this is a really good scent um, I will put my link below so you can purchase if you want to try it um, it's a really good deal because you spend your beginning money on a warmer which varies from 20 to like 45 bucks but then after that you can buy one of these for five and there's eight cubes and this one cube I've had in the warmer for um, over 12 hours, it's probably close to, I'd say, 16 hours, and I still smell it. So it lasts a lot longer than your other things you might buy, and it's safe for pets, like if they bump into it or knock it or even lick it, because it's just paraffin wax. It's kind of even the same stuff that they dip apples in to kind of make them shiny at the grocery store. Anyways, safe for that. It's safe for the elderly, because if they forget to leave it to turn it off, it's not an open flame. It is just a light bulb that warms it up. And um, it's good for kids because it helps them if they smell. <laughs> and um, if they bump it, it's not hot to burn them. It's like a paraffin wax treatment. So it's warm, a little hot for them, um, but not to where it's like they're gonna have third degree burn marks anyway. So that is what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked what I shared with you today. Leave a comment if you tried any of these products before and um, definitely go if you buy nothing else, buy this because this stuff is amazing and I really enjoy it. So thank you very much for stopping by.